What's going on, guys? Andrew here. Welcome back to Around the Track. This is where we talk about all the hot and new things going on within the coastal community. We're going to continue doing the narration for these going forward, seeing as I got some great feedback. So I appreciate you all for actually commenting and letting me know that you do like hearing the narration. It is easier for me to actually do the narration just because I don't have to worry about copyright issues and I can kind of talk as long as I need to and kind of split the video up like I need to. First things first, there has been a lot of work done. Uh, as you can see, they worked on the new area, the plaza area, kind of uh, where Tumbili and the old volcano kind of sign was. They've actually added some mulch in that area now. It's no longer like a maze to get through this area, which is really nice. But as you can see, there's some wooden things covered up and those wooden things are actually footers. Those are some giant footers, by the way. I just want to let y'all know. So they are already getting prepped and ready. This area is pretty much ready and done. And essentially, they're going to start working on that back part of the coaster now, or really the main part of the coaster. But one thing I noticed uh, when I was walking in that area and leaving that area, they actually have new light poles. It's not your normal or average uh, light pole anymore. It's actually themed like a bamboo. It's really cool. It looks really good. I like the theming and what they're doing in that area. It looks really nice. There are concrete piles everywhere with rebar just sticking out of them. These footers are going to be huge. Like it's going to be pretty insane seeing how large this coaster is once they start to get the supports and track because supports are obviously going to have to be first. I imagine those will show up first and then the track is going to show up after that. Obviously, we've been saying for about a month now that the track is going to show up. The track is going to show up. And, you know, we don't really know when it's going to show up, but we know that it's going to be soon because they're going to announce the coaster in August. So go ahead and get ready. It's going to be, I'm telling you right now, August will be here before you know it. So just get ready. Some of the clips really aren't that long. I tried to show it over the fence as really long as I really felt like I wanted to. Uh, sometimes it felt like I was doing it for a long time, but turns out I wasn't. That's what she said. <laughs> I tried to get a lot of different angles because this area is just huge. Like you can, you go over by reptilian and that area is a whole nother spot. Then you go over where the entrance of volcano was. And that's another spot. That's like the entrance to the construction site. Then you go over by flight of fear. And then that area has a bunch of stuff. It's like this coaster is massive and you forget how large this area was because there was a whole volcano structure here. So if you see in this video, there's some shrubbery and whatnot from the old station. I don't know if they're going to just keep that station or what they're really going to do if they're going to really tear it down. Personally, me, I, I it's cool with the theming and all, but I do think they honestly should just tear it down. They're going to have to build a new station regardless anyway. But, I mean, if they want to utilize that, they can. I mean, it's up to them. I do think it goes with the theming, though, still. So, I, they might as well keep it. Uh, I was reading in comments that somebody was like, they should keep the wooden crates covered up and use it as teasing, which is actually a really good idea. That's a great idea. But, I don't. we don't really know what the theme of this is supposed to be. More than likely, it's going to be a bird type of theme ride. Alrighty, so in this clip here, this is where I just kind of got a wide view of the entire area. As you can see, it is massive. And there are footers just here, there, and every freaking where. Just footers just everywhere at this point. Um, if you go back and ride Reptilian, actually, you will see that there are so many footers in that area. In the further back area, you can't even really get over to that area or even filming that area just because it's so far back that is pretty much i think maybe where the ride may end at i don't know where the station is probably going to be for this ride yet um just looking based on the layout it could be further back of where the end of the ride might be just considering how many footers were back there it might be the end of the ride now in this clip here i did another little pan left to right as you can see there's some uh water that's pulled up a little bit and it's probably going to get pulled up again because is supposed to rain i think sunday and it did rain later today when i was filming it, it did rain later that day and i got out of there in just enough time by the time i got home it was pouring down raining so yeah this was filmed on may 24th 2024 just for y'all's reference around probably like 2 30 ish uh and the park was pretty packed as far as there was a lot of bands there so i guess there was a band competition going on and there was just a lot of kids and teens there. I was up out of that place. Now, as you see over here, I did a little pan. I forget where this area is. I think it's still on the fence line of where kind of the station sign was at. But this is a little bit further down. This spot is right by like that icy machine. 
that's where this little area is. They've cleared out a lot of land. The pavers are gone. I think they're going to save the pavers because they do have pallets full of them uh, in certain areas. And again, there's a lot of rebar. There's just footers everywhere. I mean, this is going to be insane. Another spot over here, this one, there's a lot of like high voltage generators and just power, uh, little power stations. I don't know what to actually call them, but just know there's a lot of power for this ride. This is by that little flat ride. I forget the name of it and I don't want to really say it wrong, but the spider ride. I did a nice quick pan over there just because this is a good spot to kind of get closer and be able to see a little bit better what's kind of going on. Again, they're mainly just flattening out land. And like I said, they do have caution tape over here. It could be because of how wet the soil is also because they need to let the concrete sit and settle so we're over by flight of fear now i did a nice little pan again and you can see reptilian in the back there i didn't I, I didn't zoom in i probably should have zoomed in a little bit but you can just see how large the coaster is going to be and like i said there's footers everywhere they got caution tape in a lot of spots probably like i said because of the soil it being so wet they they just have a couple areas blocked off um there was nobody working but they have been working throughout the week King's Bend's finally daily operational now. I mean, I feel like they took forever to be daily operational. I don't know why. It's probably more than likely because of short staffness, staffing issues. This spot right here is actually right beside that truck where they do all the shows at. There's a giant footer right there. They're kind of holding up the, the footer together, and they actually already have uh, the plate ready. So like I said, supports more than likely will show up next. And then if you look, that I was just by that other area, like I was talking about, where all the little power, all the power and electricity is coming from. This whole area over here, that's those are pretty much newer ones. Definitely seems like they're gearing up for the supports to show up really soon here. And then this clip over here, I did another pan. There was just a bunch of pallets, like I said, for the pavers. And I kind of angled it down a little bit so you all could kind of just look at the area, look at the land. That's going to do it for today's update. I hope you all did enjoy the video. Let me know what you all think in the comment section below, what you think they're going to do with the station. What do you think the name of the coaster is going to be? I'd love to hear what you all think the name is going to be. I know it's pretty early in the early stages. We haven't even seen the color of the track yet, so we really don't know. But um, I'm excited. It's going to be awesome. Really awesome being able to have this right now as my home park and being able to do these updates for you all because I'm trying to give you all the best update as possible. And I, I want to space out the updates just because right now they're not doing, they're working hard, but it's not like, a, oh my gosh, we need to hurry up and get this footage done. It's not like the, oh crap, the track showed up yet. Now, later in the season, I may start doing them weekly just because they're going to probably be done with this coaster by the end of this year. If they're not done with this coaster by the end of this year, I'd be honestly surprised just because the fact that they already have these footers pretty much laid out and it's only May. And again, they had the footers ready in April. They were already doing footers. That just tells you this coast is more than likely gonna be done by the end of this year. And they're gonna start working on, don't forget, Intimidator, Project 305, that has to get a repaint as well. So that whole area is gonna be wild. Um, I do think they're gonna end up closing off Tumbili possibly uh, later in the year just so they can finish working on that area because sooner or later they're going to have to close off that spot and they may even do it when kind of haunt happens they may just close out that area but we'll see what they do but until next time like share subscribe peace out